story this hour comes from Thailand, which has released prominent pro-democracy activists as the Premier. The Prime Minister, Prayuth Chanucha, recalls the Parliament to discuss the protests. Nineteen activists were released on bail and demonstrators vowed to continue holding anti-government rallies as Prayuth Chanucha prepared to hold discussions with lawmakers on how to curb the protests. The embattled Prime Minister also said that the monarchy must be protected at any cost as public outrage against the royal family intensified. Now remember, thousands of students are defying the less majest law, which makes criticizing or insulting the royal family a criminal offense. The Prime Minister's decision to recall the parliament comes a day after he called for talks with protesters, saying that he is concerned that these rallies will be used by troublemakers to instigate violence. Protesters have been demanding the Prime Minister's resignation. Demonstrations have persisted despite a police ban and arrests of dozens of protest leaders. Meanwhile, in a concerning development, the Thai police is now seeking a probe into four media outlets over their protest coverage. The police wants Thailand's broadcast regulator and the digital ministry to investigate the outlets and suspend broadcasting or remove computer information. The police accuse the outlets of producing content which affected the state security, peace and order and the good morals of the people. Now, for more details about the ongoing protest movement in Thailand, Matthias Peer, a journalist based in Bangkok, joins us live. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, some big news development coming in as the Prime Minister recalls Parliament to thrash out a solution to these massive protests. We also hear that the messaging app, Telegram and several other news outlets are being curbed. So tell us more. What is the situation on ground? Yeah, basically the government has been trying to find a way how to deal with those widespread protests here in Bangkok for quite some time. The protests um, started last week or it intensified last week on Wednesday. And since then we have seen protests every day here in the Thai capital. And uh, so far, whatever the government was trying to do um, to stop uh, the protesters from gathering in the city hasn't worked. On Thursday, they have announced an emergency decree uh, effectively banning all political gatherings. On Friday, they cracked down on protesters with water cannons and trying to disperse them that way. But all of that, it seems to have emboldened the protesters. Mm -hmm. They came back um, the next day. And um, now, yeah, as you said, um, now there are uh, other plans uh, to limit press freedom. And uh, mm -hmm. it remains to be seen if uh, that effort will be successful. Right. Tell us a little bit about the demands of these protesters, which are mostly students. The Prime Minister wants to hold talks, but the topic of the monarchy or any reform within the monarchy seems to be off the discussion table. So how will this movement unfold in coming days? Yeah, exactly. The monarchy is a very sensitive topic here in Thailand. Um, as you said, um, there is a strict um, uh, law that uh, prohibits any insults um, to the king or the queen and, um, and people who uh, violate this law, they uh, can um, be sent for up to 15 years in prison. So it is a remarkable um, development that those young mm -hmm. student protesters, uh, they now started um, to um, uh, criticize the monarchy actually and um, they are planning to continue doing so. So if the uh, prime minister says um, that this is off the topic, uh, not off the table for him, uh, it will be very hard to find a compromise there. Right, right. My final question, Matthias, is there also a scrutiny on the media outlets and other platforms on the way that they report on these protests, which in turn is curbing freedom of the media? Yes, um, there is. Uh, since the government introduced uh, the emergency uh, decree um, last week, um, they said um, that all messages are banned uh, that might cause misunderstanding and might affect national security. And yeah, four media outlets are now under investigation because the government says they might have done that in their protest coverage. Mm -hmm. And um, so um, uh, there are significant curbs uh, for, for media now to report about this. Right. All right, Matthias, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast and thank you for all your inputs on this story.